Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Royal Instinct. Today we're going to be watching uh, a video um, of the, the Amazon documentary Married to the Game, which is about um, three, three or four footballers uh, and their wives and their relationships. The, the, the documentary is more about the actual spouses because they're married to the game, the game being the footballers. Um, <clears throat> And uh, it, it shows the importance of um, becoming famous, of uh, be, having the ability to garner retention because um, the the more eyeballs you have on yourselves, the higher your profile you can grow, the more you'll be able to accumulate wealth, accumulate status in life. Um, you know, we're living in times where AI will displace most people from their jobs. Um you know, most of humanity will be made redundant. They won't have the ability to uh, work, to to live a life. They'll be plugged into the metaverse. And all that uh, will be left for you to do is to watch these people live their lives online, live their lives via social media. Uh, and, and, you know, you, you have the hopes and dreams of living such a luxurious life as these people, but you'll never have the opportunity because you've never invested into building your fame um <clears throat> into building your own charisma your own fan base your own um following in essence um you know gen z are realizing is the most important thing is to build a fan base to to be relevant online uh, because we are all moving into the metaverse we all will be left to um you know, fend for ourselves in essence, and, and the, the people who will be successful and the people who make it are the people who are able to garner attention, the people who are uh, able to be visible online. Uh, and the the bigger your social media following is, the more followers you will have, the more uh, you'll be able to network with people. So you have better social opportunities, the more business deals and brand deals will come your way because big companies will realize, oh, a lot of people are watching that person. And then therefore they want to work with them. And a lot of these uh, wives and girlfriends of these footballers are going to get massive brand deals off the back of this documentary because they'll be more relevant. They'll have more eyeballs on them. There's nothing wrong with it. That is the game. Okay. Um, the, the, and it's very, <clears throat> you know, the, the, they say married to the game. We, we, in, in essence, you know, the, the game of life is now played online. The, li the game of life is won by those who are most famous, uh, who have the ability to demonstrate and showcase their talents to the biggest and widest audience possible. Um, but let's get into it. Let's have a look what this documentary is about. So so the footballers are um, Jorginho, who plays for Arsenal, used to play for Chelsea, a Champions League winner, Riyad Mahrez, uh, Champions League winner with Man City and uh, Ilkay Gundogan, who, who's also a Champions League winner. And then there's also Travoski, who plays for Everton, and Matt Turner, who used to be the Arsenal goalkeeper. But behind every woman is a greater... Is an even greater woman. Okay, so so obviously this uh, this documentary doesn't give a fuck about equality of the genders, right? Because the, the the men are already great, right? Behind every great man is an even greater woman. Okay, it's not the fact that they're equally as great. No, uh, it, it, all the success is attributed to 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 these women, their their partners in their lives. Um, <clears throat> Which is funny because you know I'm sure when they these kids uh, when these footballers were growing up, um, you know they weren't dating these women, right? That they, they dated these women after they became famous, which shows the power of fame. Lights, camera, action! <laughs> Welcome to our home. A lot of people say, "Ah, oh, but you have everything." No, they just told me, "Okay." See. Um, a lot of people would assume that 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 she has everything, but but she doesn't, right? Because there's always more for you to have. 
okay <clears throat> it's a never-ending quest and and people will say oh like you'll never be fulfilled it's but but it's getting to a stage that where that is the only way for you to live life but what what is the what is the alternative what's the alternative lifestyle like you can't just shack up in a cabin somewhere and live off grid anymore it's not it's visit it's not impossible it's not possible anymore okay what the these elites have in plan for you what what the world economic forum has in plan is for you you know to live in a pod plugged into the metaverse eating bugs um have no job live off universal basic income uh have no family have no wife girlfriend you, you will never be able to live this life unless you become famous right there, there's no other way to do it right it is for you to <clears throat> to make as much money as possible and the best way to do it because because ai will, will will stop you from earning money so the best way to do it is for you to become an expert in your field for you to be seen as an expert for you to rise to the top have a following be able to monetize that following and then other people will see you as a king you'll be able to build a kingdom you'll be seen as a person who is of importance and then you can start living that life because uh it, it is the only way left for you to achieve uh, your dreams and, and and that goal they were moving and then i was like what not always as glamorous as everyone thinks it is i know it, it, it's so hard it's so hard living in a mansion like it's not as glamorous and look most likely it, it, everything's got its fucking drawbacks but wouldn't you rather have the fucking mansion right and then be able to make that decision yourself okay or are you just going to let people who are already living that life tell you and they might be lying to you okay that oh it's not as glamorous it's not as great um you know get to the top yourself become as famous as possible become as rich as possible and then decide whether it's for you or not don't let someone else um talk you out of at least trying riyad rang me and basically told me that we're moving to saudi i'm gonna be sat at home on my own it's part of the game in it i struggled for years i mean you can just see by by his reaction that he doesn't give a fuck about this documentary it's something that his missus wanted to do and he had no choice in it you know, to keep her happy. He was like, well, fuck it, I'll do it. Um, and you can see by his his his, um, his his mannerisms and 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 his demeanor that he really doesn't want to fucking do this documentary. Days with eating disorders. I'm a woman in football. It's tough. Riyadh is stressing me out. All the fights have sold out. So if I walk down that aisle. It will be a miracle. You're not going to propose to me, still, are you? No. My biggest thing is just making sure I don't go into labor. I want him to be there. This is the life. <laughs> um, not been sure whether to tell you or not, but... And that's it. Um, that is the documentary trailer. Uh, we, we're going to watch a few other clips, but uh, in essence, um, <clears throat> you know, they, they, they're not doing this documentary to be less famous are they they want to become more famous uh, and the men are already famous in their own rights they already have a profile well at least three of them do four of them do and um you know their partners are doing it because they want to have brand deals in their own right they want to be more recognized online because they realize uh, for the future of their children is you need to become famous and you need famous parents to make it anywhere now uh and if you don't have access to those things and soon you know, you won't be able to, okay? Um, <clears throat> because AI is coming and it will displace most of humanity. So you won't be able to work. You won't be able to earn a living. And AI will get so good that, you know, it, it won't need humans to make content. AI will be able to make content itself as perfect as, as, or as a human can, if not more, because um, it has the computing power to... Yeah, you know, um, that a uh, hundred times that of a of a human's intelligence. Okay, uh, and and then it's game over at that point, right? Like, uh, and and you're gonna be plugged into the metaverse. You're gonna be force fed bugs. You're gonna be left to fizzle out out of existence. Um, if you want to live a life of luxury, if you want to live um, a better life, if you want to have the best possible sex life, if you want to have the best possible social life, if you want to have the most fun in life, you need to become famous. And the way we do it here on royalinstinct.com is I help you build a kingdom um, where you are revered, where you are 
celebrated for your personality, for who you are, for what you have to offer to society, for your intelligence, uh, for your unique perspective, and able have the ability to be uh, be seen as a as the leader, um, as the subject matter expert, as the authority in your thing that you are passionate about uh, to build a kingdom off the back of that. To uh, And once you have a kingdom, you'll be naturally crowned the king of that sphere. Um, you know, the, like it's, it's either you become an elite or, or, or just be pushed off to the side. That's why these people are making documentaries like this. That's why they, they recognize they have to be more visible online. They have to be seen. They have to become someone who's important um, because, you know, that's how you make money in today's society. But is that the end of this one? Hang on. Yeah, okay. So let's get on to number two. Honestly, he has enough with football. So whenever it comes to events and social occasions, he leaves the whole thing to me. Anyway, are you excited for tonight? Are you excited for tonight? I'm excited. I'm excited now. No, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to see the, the lads for the last time. Who's coming? Have you got, like, how many people? I think all the players. How many do you reckon with, like, girlfriends and stuff? They actually have a group chat. They, uh, uh, the, the way they... The way they edit uh, this... Um, this programme, that they make all the men look like bumbling fools and they make all the women look like strong, independent, like the backbone of the family. Uh, now, you know, I, I don't doubt she does her part, whatever, and organizing events, whatever, but like, you know, you also have to remember that he brings the money in as well to finance all this shit. Do you get what I mean? So, so he, he, he does have something to contribute, but they make him look like an idiot. Football. And obviously, I mean, just, just listen to the background music. It's very like comedic. After Riyad found out he was leaving, you have to leave the group chat. So his last message he sent on the group chat was the invite to the party. He sent the message and then left the group. Do you have like a ballpoint number? So I was like, you left the group before anyone actually responded. So you actually don't know who's coming. 20, 30. Oh, I think all the players will come, around 20 players. Hang on, I'm organising this party. I need to know numbers. I need to know how much food to order. I need to know... I need to, a, a rough number of who's coming. And, you know, wh why is she portraying herself as a strong, independent woman? Because she wants to be seen as a role model. She wants people to aspire to be like her. And then brands and companies will see her and be like, oh, okay, like, you know, she... And, and, and clearly, I, I think she... Her name is Taylor Ward, I believe. Uh, she she's clearly the most uh, the the winner of, of out of this program. I think I think some of the other women are a bit more um, not as <clears throat> they don't have the ability to to be as presentable as she is. She, she's very what's the word I'm looking for camera ready. If that makes sense, like she you know she she she's kind of realizes what this opportunity is, right? You know, and and you can imagine her going on to do some sort of talk show um you know on itv or the bbc um being some sort of presenter you know doing some sort of fucking dove commercial um you, you know you, you, can, you can just see what her idea is um what she hopes to achieve off the back of, of doing such a documentary about herself because because you have to realize is, is what's the incentive what is is she's probably getting paid for it but it's also all the brand deals that she gets off the back of it that's why it, this is the last job that's left is to become a celebrity is to become famous um, because otherwise you you'll be fucked and you'll be struggling uh, while this woman is sit there sipping her diet coke. Plus girlfriends, probably forty. Plus my friends, sixty. Sixty, twenty friends. You? Yeah. How many have you got? <laughs> I've got like six friends. Well, I'm leaving as well. Is it your party? But I am leaving. <laughs> I'm actually. This is actually. If you actually think about it, actually technically a bigger move. This is. This is the part where where now you're gonna start feeling sorry for her, you know, like the waterworks are gonna start coming. For me, than it is you. I'm actually leaving. Like Manchester's my home. Yeah, but you always can come back anytime you want. But equally, if you when you get to Saudi, you've automatically got thirty friends when you get there. Because you're gonna be with all your teammates, your new teammates. You're gonna make new friends. I'm gonna be sat at home on my own. No, really you're gonna no be with me. I'm your friend as well. If she starts crying, 
right if she starts crying that then you know she knows what she's fucking doing okay you're gonna be my only friend you're gonna be so sick of me what's wrong with that no, she chose to marry him. What's wrong if he's the only friend? You know what's crazy? I actually thought with this move, I thought you'd be the one that was really sad and I'd be the one that was like holding you through it and being like, it's fine. Like we're going to really... She, she's the, she's the backbone. You know, she's always worrying about other people. And then, you know, now it's hitting her that... It's easy for me, to be fair. I thought it was going to be more difficult than that. Yeah, but you've not even flinched. It's part of the game, innit? Yeah, I suppose. Anyway, I'm gonna go get my head on. Oh, She's got excited. a tear. She's got a tear coming. I'm gonna be emotional. No, at all, it's not. She's about to force the tears. It's Wait. Still... Why am I gonna be emotional? What are you, what are you... Don't try to go that way. It's not that. It's not like. Yeah, I cry at everything. It's not like a thing of. Oh, bye, bye, bye. It's just like. Just to get to, to see the, the boys the last time. I know, but well, that's what I mean. It's, it's the last time. It's emotional. No, but it's not. But I will see them in the future, obviously. Right? She's about to cry. She's about what to cry. Ready? Have your nap. What time we go? Cheers. What time? Uh, seven o'clock. We need to leave. Oh, she didn't cry. She didn't cry. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Yeah. So, so she didn't cry. She she proved me wrong. She was able to to hold it together. But 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 you can see. Um, I think I think Jorginho's wife is also, you know, she she used to be a singer. She was, she she was part of a reality TV show, um, called The Voice. So so she's got some. Uh, she understands what it's like to be in front of the camera. And again, she's she's probably trying to revive her career, um, because she kind of fizzled out the public eye, and uh, she thought this is a good opportunity for her to build her fame back again you know because she's got children to feed and she wants her children to have good lives and she understands that the life of rich and famous children have um better outcomes than than the life of poor people all right and and, and in the essence that that is the takeaway here that is why these people are doing what they're doing and you need to start thinking along the same lines you need to think like well how am i going to become famous how am i going to rise to the top how am I going to have um, good opportunities come my way? How can I live in a fucking mansion? How can I um, marry a beautiful woman? Um, and the only thing that's left for you to do is to become as famous as possible. Um, you know, people will say that you need to look a certain way, that you need to do this, that you need to be intelligent, that you need to do this, uh, be educated in this. The, the truth of the essence is, is, is there's many ways to become famous right you can show your arsehole on only fans or you can um be a stupid idiot and do pranks online or how we do it here at royalinstinct.com is pick something that you're very passionate about something that's very uh that, that you're very interested in something that you could work at on tirelessly um without ever feeling like it's uh, like you're forcing yourself to do it and that way you'll be able to 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 constantly work at your at, at your thing that you're passionate about, and use that to garner an audience, to uh, have a following, build a following, become a social media influencer, be big online, have a have a successful YouTube channel, and then convert that into money uh, and use that to start building a kingdom and be seen as a king and it's very easy to do but most people don't have the balls to do it um but you need to understand why it's important why this is your last opportunity in the world there's nothing else for you to do right like, well, like, like what else are you going to do are you going to become you know are you going, are you going, are you going to become a footballer no you're going to like you know unless you're very 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 talented you know and even then it's like you know you might get injured along the way you know Becoming a, a social media influencer, becoming famous online is the last easiest thing for you to do. Uh, all it takes is consistent work, which I help my clients uh, achieve, which I help my clients um, focus on to build their kingdoms so they can start living the life of luxury like oh, these people. And he's going to show me around. Nice. For the first time ever, I've actually left the house viewing process to Riyadh because obviously he's here in Saudi. I'm in Manchester, so there's not a lot I can do. Wow, it's big. Massive. Has it got a kitchen or? No, oh, the kitchen should be here. What, so it's not got anything in it yet? No. No kitchen, nothing? It's new. Brand right, new. So there's a lot of work to do. 
Originally, when we first started looking for properties, I kind of envisioned that we'd find somewhere that was fully furnished, maybe even just like a rental that we could move into tomorrow. With and, and, and you can see um, a lot of the time the camera pans and it's, it's, it's the woman talking to the camera instead of her husband because this show is, is, is for women. It, it is about women um rich women because all girls these days want to live rich lives and and how do you do that you have to marry someone rich you have to become rich in your own right uh i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm not saying it's it's, it's a good thing it is what it is okay it's just how the world works um you need to build your fame you need to you know even if you're a girl you need to build your fame you need to become famous as possible right like a lot of girls do it on only fans that get your tits out like I suggest you don't do that. It's, you know, uh, you can, there's many more credible ways for you to go about and do it. Okay. You don't even have to marry someone rich to do it. You can literally do it in your own right. You know, I, I talk a lot about, you know, <clears throat> here on Royal Instinct building, I'm looking for a hundred Kings, uh, but very easily it could be a queen as well. Like if you believe that you are a queen and that you want to become famous as well, you know, I, I can help you achieve that. I can help you um, build an audience, garner retention, become a content creator, build charisma, be able to um, captivate an audience and and propel yourself to a leadership position. You need to become the leader that the world needs. You need to become the leader that uh, that you wish that you had. Okay, and this is you know, again for I don't give a fuck if, if you're what race you are, what gender you are what your background is, who the fuck you are. Like, do you get me? I'm looking for a hundred like-minded people who understand what's happening of the dystopian future that is coming. I'm looking for a hundred people who, who are on my side, who want to build with me, who want to build a kingdom. And naturally you'll be seen as a king. You'll be able to live a life of luxury. You'll be able to get access to the best business deals, access to the best, um, social opportunities the best dating opportunities uh your children will live the best lives your family members will live the best lives down to your hard work and it's very easily achievable you know it's it, it's not it, it doesn't take luck it doesn't take um genius it just takes a little bit of consistency and a little bit of know-how of how to be charismatic in front of a camera how to be how to um captivate an audience and propel yourself to the top and be seen as a king if you understand what I'm saying, if you want to be part of this movement, if you want to also live a life of luxury and go shopping for mansions like this this couple here, then go to royalinstinct.com and uh, reach out to me. All the furniture, TVs, everything in. This is going to take like at least eight weeks to get furniture and if it's not even got a kitchen in it. Riyadh's definitely given me a project that was a lot bigger than what I was hoping for. Oh no, she's got a big project to furnish a house but to be fair luckily my mum's an interior designer and i've got good people that can help me so i won't be alone trying to sort it are you going to clean the house clean the house yeah i hope we get some cleaners because i don't she want don't to clean she don't cook she do everything else for the family she organize and stuff but um I want, I want her more in the kitchen and stuff you know Riyad, which is good to learn i'm a working woman I'll put my hands up. I don't cook his dinner. I'm absolutely terrible at cooking, but I make sure it's on the table. <laughs> you either get the stay-at-home wife or you get the, the 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 woman that goes out and works and earns a living. He, he literally like there's people in this country, there's people in the world, right, who who aren't well off, who would who who need a woman by her side like her, who 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 goes out there working. He's a multi-millionaire. He doesn't need any more money. Right, but 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 he she she goes oh you can add the, but he, I'm hard working he doesn't give a fuck about her her work ethic he he needs a he needs a woman who who cooks and cleans and I've got my own job and I do and I look after Mila and I run everything I don't physically clean the house myself She's proper trying to justify her work no you don't need to clean kitchen. but I think you should do some 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 food sometimes we had knew what he was getting when he met me I love working I love my job and. I think it's very difficult to do both, and I try my best. I think he's appreciative of that. There's no kitchen, let's keep it that way, because I, I don't I like cooking. I, I cook better than her, I think. You don't cook back in... I mean, 
the dynamics is like she looks like a, a very masculine woman and he looks like a, a sulky teenager. When do you ever cook, Riyadh? Apart from Tell making an absolute better. mess, what do you actually do? I cook better than you, you know. You make some really shitty burnt scrambled egg and that's about it. <laughs> I mean, the disrespect, do you get what I mean? The disrespect that she's showing her, her, her husband. It's like, you know, like if she was more respectful and classy about it, then, then you know, she could also simultaneously build his reputation, but, but she makes it all about herself she makes it that she is a businesswoman that she keeps a household together which is fair enough if you do it but it's like at the expense of her own husband do you get what i mean so even in relationships it's like people understand this dog eat dog it's like you know it's a re it's a race to the top he, he you know he's a footballer he's going to retire soon and she's like well how i need to start ma making more money and and they're already millionaires by the way And that is it okay um yeah so 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 we live in times where you know the the uber wealthy rich people like like like, like this couple riyad mares and taylor ward um who are already multi-millionaires who already have everything that they could ever dream of want more okay it is never enough um the elites want to keep getting richer because they want to price you out they don't want to associate with you. They want to take keep poor people away from them. Um, the future that's coming, AI will displace most of humanity. AI will take away most of people's jobs. Um, <clears throat> there will be no jobs left for you to do. Driverless cars will take away Uber um, jobs and uh, trucking jobs, you know, um, and deliveries will be done via drones. Amazon's already... Um, experimenting with uh drones dropping off packages at people's houses food will be delivered via drones um and you'll be plugged into the metaverse you'll be stuck at home uh running around on the internet um thinking that you're you're living a productive life when in reality you'll just be locked into a a very comfortable prison cell and that is the future of the world unless you have the resources and the money to to live a better life, to do better, uh, which most people won't. Most people won't. They'll realize when it's too late. Um, if you realize what's coming, if you realize what the elites are going to do, where you will end up um, in the future, then I suggest that you do something about it and the best thing and the only thing that is left is for you to start becoming a content creator for you to build a kingdom uh, be seen as someone who is influential become a famous person <clears throat> um, and use that influence and fame and use your following to start making money use your resources to build a kingdom use your um privileged position as someone who with, with a lot of followers to build connections um build a kingdom be seen as a king rise to the top and be someone who is a leader okay because that is what the world lacks it lacks leadership um yeah you know, yeah people like uh like ria mares and his wife who who are already famous building more fame okay so, so you need to realize how important it is. It's the only thing that is left um, if you want to live any type of happy life in the future. If you understand what's coming, if you want me to help you achieve um, your goals, if you want to become a content creator, reach out to me. I'll be able to help you. I'm looking for 100 people who are on the same page as me, who are willing to build a kingdom, um, become famous, and... Um, build a network of royals where we live life like kings where we become the rulers of the world where we dethrone the current elites get rid of these people like Riyad Mahrez and uh Taylor Ward right because they are taking our spot right we should be living those privileged lives we should be living a life of luxury if you understand what I'm saying if you want to be part of this go to royalinstinct.com because, you know, most of society is asleep. Most of society will get fucked. They'll get bent over and penetrated deeply. And before they realize what's happening is um, it will be game over, right? And then they'll be coming to you, be like, oh, you know, can, you, know you were talking about building a kingdom. Can, can you do that now? It'd be, like, it'd be too late by then, okay? 
Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm already getting messages from people asking, inquiring about what I'm doing. They, they, they're trying to join. Some people don't really understand it and they're not the right fit and, you know, I have to let go of them. Uh, but a lot of them um, have the ability and I'm teaching them how to have charisma, how to become a good content creator and helping them fulfill their goals so they can live a good and happy life and become future leaders to bring prosperous times for humanity because where we are headed right now um most people will be fucked and i don't want that for you i don't want that for humanity if you want to make a difference go to royalinstinct.com everyone else i hope to see you soon <laughs>